Hello, hello everyone. My name is Monica. I come from Solana, Ciudad Real, from Spain, and I am very, very excited about traveling. And who do you pass the word to? And I pass the word to Stephanie. Um, so I'm Stephanie from Brazil, and I'm really excited because this year we've made a really nice project. It's called My City, My Diversity, and from this project, we had another project coming up. So next year, we'll be able to expand this project, not only about uh, people with disabilities, but also about racism and, you know, other things included in diversity. So I'm really excited about that. So, um, I think, do you want to pass to someone, Monica? Sorry, that was Stephanie. Stephanie, do you want to pass to someone? <laughs> okay. You can choose whoever you want. Yes, yes, I'm going to choose. Encarna Alcantara. My name, hello, my name is Encarna from Monterrubio, from Badajoz, from Spain, from a region called Extremadura in Spain. And I am very excited to know Europe, new different people, new, get to know their culture and all that. And who you pass the word to? Let's see. Min Mina Marlom. Mina Marlom. Who has some dark glasses. Mina Mabluk. Mina. Mina Mamluk, are you here? Can you speak? Okay. If not, okay, I'll choose someone else. Okay. Shiva Shretta. Shiva Shretta. Yes, I'm here. Uh, hello, I, uh, I'm Shiva from Nepal. I'm now your uh, Kenny. And my excited uh, also to visit uh, other uh, country. Uh, thank you. I am passing for uh, Mark. Thank you, Shiva. Um, my name is Mark Mabemba from Malawi. And uh, I'm from, I work with Inclusion International. Uh, next year, I think I'm excited that I'll be have more work on advoc advocacy and working with uh, seven uh, several advocates around the world. So I'm excited about it. Um, let me hand over to is is it Iska? Salas, East Salas. Buenas tardes. 
Hello. Good afternoon. I'm from Spain. I come from the region of Aragon, the city of Zaragoza, and I am very excited to learn more languages, though I'm not too sure I will make it, but that I love to learn new languages, and I would like to go to United States to visit my sister who's there. So I hope to go there also to the United Kingdom. Pass the word to Egoge Adel. Egoge Adel. George Adel. Hello. Uh, I am George Adel. Uh, from uh, Alexandria, uh, Egypt. Uh, I am sorry, uh, uh, no speak uh, English. Uh, Thanks, George. Good to see you. And then I saw that Mina put his hand up. Uh, Hi everyone. Oh, I'm yeah. from uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Uh, uh, I am a uh, member in uh, uh, Tamayes for Self Advocacy uh, Center in Egypt. Uh, and uh, I am a support person for uh, Salma Sabah. Uh, one of the uh, team, uh, 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 one of the uh, uh, one of team uh, for the self advocate uh, Alexandre. Thank you. Mina, do you want to pick someone to go next? I think George went already, so maybe we'll go to Fernanda. Can you hear me? Hello. My name is Fernanda, Fernanda Castro, from the organization CONFE in Mexico, and I am passionate about, and I would really like to do next year is to be with my family and also to meet more self-advocates of other countries. And I pass the floor to Andreu. Andrew. The Andrew. Can you hear the English translation of that? Andrew, um, do you want to um, yeah, do you want to introduce, introduce yourself? yourself? <laughs> um, okay, well, I live in South Africa, and my first name is Andrew, but everyone calls me Andy. I just do know how to introduce myself. Coffee, for sure. I wish I could say more, 
I guess you know how to do print in Word to describe um, anything in terms. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for sharing. And where are you from? South Africa. South Africa. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Andy. And thanks for joining the meeting. You're welcome. And do you want to choose someone else to go next? Uh, who hasn't gone? Maybe uh, Jennifer or Anna? I'm not sure who. I don't know who has all the videos here. Uh, I don't think Jennifer's gone, Andy, if you want to ask her. Oh, Jennifer, your, your mic's off. Okay. Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm from Ottawa in Canada, Ontario in Canada. Um, I've written my, I've written three books. Um, uh, the Pandemic Was a Disability, Disabilities are beautiful and my autobiography. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Jennifer. That's great. Do you want to pick someone to go next? Whoever hasn't gone next. Um, Anna, Kiran, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Uh, now I have to press it back on me. Now I have to put this on. Uh, okay. Rodrigo has introduced himself in the chat. He said, hello, I'm Rodrigo Gil, I'm from Argentina. Maybe we lost the connection, Rodrigo. Maybe Anna, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, okay. My name is Anna. I am from Spain. And I would love that Plena International would continue and that we continue to be together. And I would love us to be together in person. And here I am with someone that sometimes also my colleague connects to Plena Internacional. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Laura. Do you want to tell us who you are? Should I... So, hello, my name is Laura Espejo. I work in Plena Inclusión in Spain. And I am so glad to meet you all through the screen. Laura, we're saying we're saying about saying one thing that really we're looking forward to for next year. Well, I would love that more people with disabilities participate in initiatives such as this one. Thank you, Laura. Ana, who do you want to pass the floor to? Vale, y yo me voy, vale. Os tengo que dejar. 
I, I have to go, so maybe if I'll connect a little bit more from the train. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hiram, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Hiram Healthman. I'm from uh, the United States, um, Orlando, Florida. And let's see here next year. Hope to do some more travel. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Hiram, would you say that again? Because we, yes. we didn't hear you. Okay. Oh, can you, oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. My name is Hiram Healthman. I'm from the United States in Orlando, Florida. And next year, hope to do some more travel, including some other countries around the world for meetings and other types of activities. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you so much, Hiram. Mm -hmm. And it's great to have you here. It's wonderful to see some new faces right at the end of the year. That's so exciting. So I think it will start our work off for next year in, a, in an exciting way. Um, what do you think? She was nodding. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll pass back to, to you, Natalia. Hi, everybody. My name is Natalia. I'm from Argentina, but I work in Spain. I live in Spain and I work for Plena Inclusión. I'm so excited for next year because we will be able to go on with this project. So thanks uh, to you all for participating. The floor now is to Monica. If you want, we'll start because uh, have you already introduced uh, yourself, everybody? I think so. Anyway, if anybody wants to introduce uh, that haven't still introduced him or herself, if everybody has already introduced him or herself, so let's get started. Please remember that you have translation into English, Portuguese, and Spanish for interpretation. You have to click on the icon of the planet and choose your selected language. Good morning, good evening. I'm Monica, and a colleague in, of Anna at the platform. Anna already was busy, so she could make it with us, but she will join us uh, uh, for some minutes, but I will be substituting her here with you. First of all, we wanted to thank you for participating into this party, closing party for this year. For all of you, Plena Internacional is a full inclusion project in which we want to promote the participation of people with disabilities throughout the world. We started to know each other at the beginning of 2022, where we told how our countries were and our organizations in every country. This year, we've been together with uh, in international inclusion to talk about some topics, employment, sharing experiences, new issues like reports on United Nations. Today, we're gonna, we have no special topic. We want to celebrate this year together. We want to show you our meetings throughout the year, and for that, we've started a little presentation for you. Natalia, is the presentation ready? Monica, whenever you want to start. Can you see the presentation all right? So we start now. 
So we met nine times this year to talk about accessibility, employment, deinstitutionalization, independent life, and the community shadow reports to United Nations communities and personal assistance. Accessibility. They have told you very cool things like the fact that in almost every country that participated, uh, people disability participate in uh, accessibility services, employment with known new things like personalized employment and the fact that they work in different places like government, public administration, or the treasury. Here we have a photo about employment. The institutionalization with known stories of people that have paths from living into institutions to living in community. And here uh, we have another photo of another girl talking about the institutionalization of the project My House, independent life. We've known that only a few people with disability do life in the community. Nonetheless, many do things like yoga, shopping, go to the bank, have a coffee with friends or go to church. Here we have a photo of uh, some colleagues speaking about life in community and independent life. And last, uh, personal assistance. We knew very cool experiences from Spain and Scotland where they told us how the people with disability themselves struggle to defend the figure of the personal assistant. And here's a photo of people with disability uh, talking about Spain, Scotland, about the personal assistance in the countries. Thank you for your attention. And now, the floor from International Inclusion International will talk about us about the agenda for the next year. Now the floor is to the professionals of uh, Inclusion International. The floor is yours. Alice? So yeah, so we wanted to, um, to ask people if they had any ideas about things that you wanted to talk about next year. We have some ideas already, um, but it would be great to hear if there's any topics or things that you feel it would be important to talk about uh, as an international group of self-advocates next year. So, any any suggestions, any ideas of topics our group could talk about? Can I can I say it? Um, so I've been thinking. I was thinking here. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. So I've been thinking uh, there was a, a face, we could have a face-to-face -face meeting with everybody here in the group. And I thought we could talk about simple language, like accessible language. And another idea that I had, um, if we could have something to talk about uh, the rights of people with disabilities. And uh, that's it, yes. Great, thank you, Stephanie. So talking about um, like Easy Read and maybe how to make Easy Read, how self-advocates are involved in making Easy Read. Um, uh, it's a uh, simple language. Simple. Thank you, Stephanie. And so also, uh, 
maybe uh, just talking about the Uh, it's a, it's a little different uh, lang a simple language and easy reading. For example, I have this material that is simple language uh, representing what I'm going to speak. Another example is um, uh, explaining every word. For example, if the word is hard, for example, barriers. What is a barrier? is something that uh, impedes uh, some kind of movement. So for example, if I am a person that uses a wheelchair and then I face a barrier, that is like a physical barrier that impedes, that stops me from getting somewhere. So in simple language is uh, in images. Uh, and, and in a more simple language, uh, explaining difficult words, less less text, a big um, a big font like it is, it, it is colorful, you know. That's great. Thank you for explaining, Stephanie. So we can definitely add that to the to list, and maybe we'll um. We'll all choose together um, in our first meeting next year, kind of the schedule. So that's a good idea. We can add that. Um, and also you talked about rights, so maybe about the CRPD. Yes. And also we could have like a forum to discuss how the rights are being um, applied or followed in every country. So maybe we can have like a week uh, of about lectures and information about how you know how each country is doing. So, so just talking in general rather than about one specific area. I'm sorry, Eilish, can, can you repeat the question? So talking about rights in general rather than about a specific right, okay. No, in every country, in each country, how uh, each country is dealing with the situation, if the, if the rights are being guaranteed or they need to change, like what, uh, like if one country is guaranteeing more rights than another, you know, that, that's what I thought. Okay, great. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, does anyone else have any ideas for things to talk about next year? See, somebody was commenting on the chat the issue of uh, sexuality and reproduction. Can you tell us uh, something about that that you wrote on the chat? Yeah. Uh, I, I think that in every country, they have different forms of understanding sexuality. It would be good. Uh, to listen to every country about this issue of sexuality and reproduction, whether they have organized talks, they have a discussion about that, that would be uh, the proposal. Because here in Spain, we've, ha we've organized talks about about do that. So it would be it'd be cool to know about you guys in, in other countries. Did you understand? Yeah, great, Esther. Fernanda, but would you like would you, which topic would you like to deal with next year? Yeah. Uh, I would like 
to talk about leadership. For instance, to talk about, could you, uh, yeah, uh, move you, move yourself in in a forum, or the about the issues that we're interested in. How can we learn? to become leaders, for instance, to introduce ourselves at forums, at talks, but also to be uh, uh, leaders uh, with ourselves. So to me, it's important to learn to how to become a good leader. Did I explain myself right? Yep, thank you, Val. That's a, that's a great idea. It's, uh, it's a really important topic, and I think uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. I think you're going to create new production. Uh, we have just done that uh, three days ago. We had a meeting in Africa, the World Market, and we were talking about that, and it was very interesting to see. How come in several cases we are putting in interest to them more? So I think to talk about is that international level can be a good idea because we are coming from different countries. We have a different experience and uh, different beliefs. So yeah, that topic can also be a good idea. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Uh, does anyone have any other ideas? If you can't think of anything now, that's okay. We can, you can uh, email us and we can uh, talk more about it. For the people that has just uh, joined, we're speaking a little bit about which topics we'd like to talk about next year. Uh, which topics are you interested in? Have you had any ideas uh, about topics to talk about? Anybody else has some ideas? Yes, I have an idea that we could speak about uh, housing or living in community, not in a, an institution or, uh, for instance, in a house, uh, living together with uh, colleagues that issue. Great. Anybody else wants to share some ideas about uh, what to do, what to talk about next year? So, so Monica, if you want, we pass to the next topic we wanted to talk about. Great. So, now we want to propose you a game. We have to think how you would define Plena Internacional with a positive phrase. I, I would define it as a window into the world because we've learned about experiences in other countries. And you, how could you define Plena Internacional? That's the game we, we're proposing. Defining a sentence, how would you define Plena Internacional? Are, aren't there any definitions or ideas? I wanted to raise my hand, but I didn't see the icon. Yeah, tell us. In, in a word, I would define it as learning. Great. Learning. Stephanie, you raise your hand, Stephanie. Well, I've been thinking 
that defines what is what plena is opportunity opportunity to learn with other countries what they are like and also share what happens here in brazil with other countries so everything i learn here i share with my colleagues in self-advocacy everything i've learned during this time in plena i'm able to share with my co-workers as well so what defines is learning and opportunity to be here and opportunity to spread knowledge <laughs> it's because i'm i'm talking to my support person so i'm talking and listening that's it Could you please? I'm sorry, sh should I repeat? Anybody else would like to define uh, what plena inclusión? Any ideas, something positive? Then we will uh, ask about improvements. If not, Monica, we can go to the next questions. If anybody has something positive to tell in in a, in a sentence, in a you can write it on the chat or raise your hand. So next question. Now we have to think about which improvements could we could we have for next year. Is there anything you'd like to do next year in a different way or something you think we could improve? For example, I would like to improve the fact that we could, we could all get together in person. I would love to get together in person, everyone. Anybody else? Does anybody else want to improve something for next year? Um, yeah, just to I'm not think maybe we can also think you know, uh, adding language to having French and Arabic to the list so that we, uh, we accommodate people who speak long, uh, those languages, uh, French and Arabic. Thank you, Mark. Yes, I would like that for next year. You could share all the presentations of everybody who has done presentation in this period of 2022 i would like us you to share all the presentations because i would like to get more information and have the support of all the presentations that have been presented here basically thank you juan and also esther is saying in the chat that maybe what we could do is that each country can record a little video even if it's only with photos of their for example, Esther, she's saying that every country can do a video of their different countries, of their colleagues, even if it's with photos, but so that we get to know about the different projects that you're doing. 
in case somebody wants to share photos of their organization or projects, you know that Inclusion International has this email, which is the self advocates. And if you send an email to that address, you can share with self advocates of everywhere in the world, all the information that you'd like. What else would you like to improve next year? Is there anything else? Well, Monica, do you want to tell us about the next steps? Okay, so the colleagues in International have a questionnaire what we liked about this project and what we need to do for next year. So next week, we will send you the link so that you can respond to this survey that would be in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Well, it, we have to start saying bye-bye for this year. So thank you, everyone, for participating. We are so, so happy to see your faces speak with each other, and we hope to see you next year. During the months of January and February, we will take a little rest to think about how we're going to organize next year. But soon, we'll let you know how we continue this project. See you soon, and happy Christmas, and happy holidays, and uh, have a great new year, 2024. Thank you. Thank you so much, Monica. Does somebody want to say something? Stephanie wants to say something. Uh, yes, uh, may I? Uh, uh, now I've been thinking, and I'd like to know, what is the deadline to answer the form? Because we're going on vacation, so... What is, I would like to know what the deadline is to answer, to answer the form. So we will, we will send the form next week and we don't need your responses until the end of January. So you'll have over a month to fill in the form. It won't be, it won't be very long. It will only It's because we're going on recess on the 20th, uh, right on, well, next week. So I'd just like to know. A good question. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, and just, just on that, we are going to start the meetings a little bit later next year so that we uh, have time to plan the meetings. So we won't have a meeting in January but we will most likely have a meeting the end of February. So we'll be starting the meetings in February. So we will all have a little break at the start of the year. Yeah, Andrew, have you got your hand up? Okay. Um, I know there is a last meeting, but I just want to read everyone Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for this year. Thank you so much, Andy. And uh, yeah, Happy Christmas and a Happy New Year to you too. Thank you. Go ahead, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, your, your mic is off. Jennifer, we can't hear you. You're muted. Yes, yeah, sir, go along. Can we take a photo? Of course. We're just waiting to hear from Jennifer. Jennifer, your mic's still off. Uh, hello. Hello, I'm Jennifer from Ottawa, Canada. And um, 
I just wanted to say I did uh I did uh I did uh a project with Inclusion International to uh for plain language in 2021. And I was just yeah. I just wanted to let you know. It was a lot of it was fun. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Jennifer. Yeah, it was great to work with you. That was around listening to the steps. Um, so thank you for sharing that, Jennifer. And I think um, the So if we're all ready, we can take a picture. Does anybody oh, sorry, else? Okay. Should we count down? Should we do three, two, one? <laughs> yeah. Right, thank you everyone and we'll try and um, send that and, and as uh, Juan asks all of the um, materials from today and, and earlier sessions that's a really good suggestion Juan so we'll try and do that in the interim between uh, this meeting and starting the next round of meetings and so uh, yeah it was great to see everyone and thank you very much yeah thank you from Kenya Bye from Kenya. Bye from Kenya. Bye bye. Bye <laughs> from Kenya. Bye bye. Hey.